So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason, as you're setting up your particular iPhone that you just bought or you're setting it up brand new, you might be seeing that your particular iPhone is just randomly not going through and actually, you know, updating and it's just stuck on updating while you're setting it up. Now, the very first thing I recommend doing for the most part is just letting your iPhone update and download the software. A lot of the times I've run into this issue a lot throughout the last couple of years. And typically whenever this happens, it's usually me just being antsy and me wanting to use my phone as fast as possible. So if your iPhone literally is just, you know, if you just bought it, give it some time, give it like 30 minutes, an hour, maybe sometimes to download and install the update. And it really just depends on how fast your internet connection is. If your internet connection is very, very slow, there's well, not really much you can do there. You're pretty much just going to have to wait it out so you can connect to a better Wi-Fi signal if you want to. If not, you're pretty much just going to have to wait until it fixes the problem. Now, if you are still waiting and that's still not working and you're still stuck on this like iOS update that's still not updating and installing on your brand new iPhone, the next thing you can try doing is restarting your iPhone. So you can hold down those particular buttons to basically restart your particular device. So the volume up button and the power button. If that doesn't work, you can just hold down the power button itself. And you want to see if that ends up working once you power back on. Go through the initial setup once again, and that could very well end up fixing the problem again for you. Again, it's not a guarantee. That's another thing you can try doing. And for the most part, that's probably what I'd recommend doing as well. Now, if that's still not working, another thing I recommend doing for the most part is just going through and just seeing if for some reason there's a, an issue with Apple servers. So you can go on your PC or your laptop or whatever and type in basically downdetector.com or is it downrightnow.com, those types of websites. And if there's actually a server outage, you're just basically going to have to wait it out until they fix those server outages. If that still doesn't work, you can contact Apple and ask them what's going on and they may be able to allow you know, a fix for it too. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.